Hey everybody, this is Chelsea from Personal Touch Scrapbooking and today I want to talk about planners. So, you've probably been seeing everywhere videos and blog posts and people talking about their planners and what they're going to do for 2015. I want to start off with showing you my memory planner from Heidi Swap that I did for 2014. I actually finished it, very proud of myself. I do it a little bit differently. I try and write stuff down on a kind of a weekly basis what happened that week and then usually every few months I'll go back print pictures do my decorating and kind of catch up uh, this last time I think I was done up until August or September and then I did just as like a big batch right at Christmas time here so I did rebind it it came with smaller rings so I just used my cinch wires uh, a larger size I think these are one one and a quarter inches, I think. So, and then I just used some Heidi Swap acrylic um, numbers, butterflies. These are some Prima little chevron rhinestones. I used some banners from Heidi Swap and some enamel dots. Think my mind's eye. So, I didn't do anything to this page. But that's typically what I do. Do some writing. Throw in some pictures. These are close to my heart 4x6 flip flaps. I'm just going to keep sliding this over because if I have to, uh, I don't want to zoom out too much or you won't be able to see. So I just, you know, put some cards in. I don't usually use a lot of cards as decoration because I have so many pictures that I want to show. And this is what a typical month looks like. I did go through with the rub-ons. I wish I would have picked up more sets of those rub-ons because now I'd like to use the same thing for this year's, but I can't find them anywhere. So that's what a typical month looks like, and I'll go through, as I remember, write things down. Some days have nothing, and that's fine. You know, I'm pretty relaxed about it. I don't want this to be something that's going to stress me out. There's February. Lots of movie tickets. We like going to movies, so. It's just nice to be able to look back. I've used it quite a few times, actually, for my regular scrapbooking, to look back and see... Um, what we did that month, what date something happened. You can see here I've used some of the uh, glitter stickers. Those are Heidi Swap as well. And I have printed out like quotes and things that I like. Um, I think I put them through the through one of my apps. I can't remember which one, but then I printed them out as a 3x4. This one I had an extra picture so I just hole punched it and stuck it in. I had a lot of a little extra stick on things. <laughs> That's why I had to rebind it because it was just, it, there's no way this thing would even remotely close. So I also used, um, I think this one is an overlay here that says adore you. It has some little polka dots. That one is, I want to say simple stories overlay, I think. And this one here, I can't remember where I got that from, but it's just like an acrylic page that I cut down that's printed on. Another hole punch photo. Some banners down the side here since I didn't have anything that I wanted to write there so I might as well fill it up. And same with putting pictures over here. If I only have so much journaling that I want to do, I'll just throw a picture over there. And you can see some months are pretty basic. It's not that a lot didn't happen, it's just you know, I didn't feel like doing a lot of decorating or whatever. Some uh, glitter washi tape. This is a vellum die cut from Heidi Swap. Oh, and I should mention down here too, on the... You'll see a few of the little word stickers. These are from Simple Stories, I believe. And they're meant for going on photos. I have black ones and white ones. And there's just some, we went to Disneyland and the Close to My Heart convention. So I got a 3x4 flip flap that's also close to my heart. And another one on this side. And I do a little bit of decorating or whatever on top of my photos, but not a lot. Another thing I like to do is... I take washi tape and 
I put strip on top and oh on that one I didn't put it behind oh because I backed it with another picture so I put a, a strip on top and a strip behind and then I stuck another picture over top of that so otherwise you would see the washi tape that's behind it which isn't a big deal but it's a really fast way to add a waterfall of photos on there just some more fun stuff it's really nice to look back a snapshot of the year and see all of the fun things that we did and because when I think back over the year I'm just like oh yeah it was it was a good year I don't know nothing really stands out but then when you start looking at it it's like oh yeah all that fun stuff really did happen <laughs> um, this is another one of those flaps that I made with the washi tape I added a little uh, banner Heidi Swap banner I didn't put anything on the back because I didn't have any more pictures but I didn't want to cover up the journaling space because I needed it there. These are some postcards. We went to the Royal Tarot Museum in Drumheller, which isn't that far from where we live. So did writing on one, put a photo on the back of the other. Some more pictures. My niece. So you can see it just I don't try and make it too complicated or too fancy. I just want to get all the memories captured. And that way, if I don't get it scrapbooked, I know it is preserved somewhere. Or if I'm scrapbooking, I can look back and I can be like, okay, this was the date that we did that. You know, any extra journaling, I have that recorded. This was October and I did so much in October because it was my 30th birthday and there was like surprise parties and surprise trips and <laughs> there was Halloween and all kinds of things going on. I took a Donna Downey class. So I took the Heidi Swap. This is the waterfall for this collection and I just printed out a bunch of little pictures and then I cropped some pictures down so they would fit. And just basically tried to squeeze in as much of the photos as I possibly could and that is a great way adds a little bit of bulk like you can see there's how thick it is it's not super thin but great way to put a whole bunch of stuff in there uh, this is a little flap I made what I did was I put the pictures in and then I put little number stickers on them and then on here I numbered my journaling to match up so that I knew which which thing went with what? Halloween. I dressed up as a walker. My husband dressed up as Rick from The Walking Dead. And gas. You might notice a few things in my <laughs> in my scrapbooking about gas prices because they keep falling and they haven't been that low in like 10 years. So this was when gas hit a dollar here, a dollar per liter. This is the invite for the Halloween party that we went to picture of my husband when we went to the mountains and he he put it through a filter and editing thing to put on those little catch lights there my niece in her Halloween costume so cute and yeah so you can fit so much in here you just might need to um rebind it like I did but I didn't mind it was really easy to do the holes are the same so Another 3x4 flip flap. Our house all decorated up for Christmas. This is November. And then December. Now December I did put a little note in here about um, for more details see December Daily Album because I did do a December Daily Album this year so I didn't put as much into this month as I probably would have if I didn't have that. So that way I can see here, oh, if there's more, I know there's that other album I can go look at for this month. But I didn't want to just leave this blank, obviously, so I did print off some pictures from our trip and more three-way four flip-flaps. Sorry about the glare on the page protector. A little card we got. And then this is the last month here just added a couple stickers to it and then we're at the back page so I really liked this way of documenting the year 
it was really nice now to be able to look back. It's nice for my husband. He can just kind of flip through and he's not waiting for me to do big 12 by 12 layouts that may or may not ever get done. <laughs> this way I know it's captured, it's in here. I don't have to worry about it. So I did pick up, this is Heidi Swap's new planner. It's not the one that's coming. It was the one that was at Michael's, the limited edition one in gold. It says every day. And it came with a bunch of little like two by two cards. I'm sure you've seen this to death because <laughs> I know everybody's been showing it. So I'm not going to go through everything that comes in the kit. The one thing I do want to mention is it comes with these little magnetic bookmarks, which I'm going to show you my planner that I'm using now are so convenient. I love those for holding the page. So this was a pouch from a set of paintbrushes that I picked up, so I'm just keeping it in there for now. And I'm not going to flip all through this. I haven't started this yet, but what I'm, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to like the larger squares for keeping track of what happened every day, because I know in the little circles on the last planner, sometimes it just wasn't big enough for me to write down everything that happened or my thoughts about that or whatever. I need to do my numbering in here still. I haven't really touched this yet. It's only like the 6th of January, so I will catch up, no problem. That's why I wish I had more of those Heidi Swap little rub-on numbers, because it'd be perfect for this, but oh well. Now, I love this part here. It says thankful for, that was awesome, I probably should. So another great way to just prompts for memory keeping. And then probably what I'm going to do is there's these little um, page protectors. This is a cap that I wanted to keep from this specialty carbonated water that my husband just started drinking. But So I wanted to keep that. I'm going to flatten it out probably. But um, can't really fit a lot of photos in here. <laughs> this would fit, I think, probably a 4x4. Four four, but the Simple Stories page protectors, and I believe the Project Life 6x8 ones, fit in here perfectly. So I will be adding some of those to hold my pictures. And the other option is to, is just to um, put some pattern paper in here and just put the pictures right on to there because usually I have a lot of pictures for the month. So that's what I'm going to be using in place of the memory planner. So doing the same kind of mostly pictures, memory keeping kind of stuff in that one. And then typically from my actual planning. So my actual keeping track of work, I work from home. I have my own business. So I need to be pretty organized. I always have to-do lists. In the past, what I've done is just notebooks. And I would write out my list, tear them off and throw them away as I completed them. It worked okay, but I want something a little bit better, a little bit more organized, keep me on track and keep me going through all my tasks. So this is a little notebook that I had made for my Close to My Heart team. I am going to keep that just for like taking to events and writing notes and keeping track of those kinds of things because it is a nice small size. But I have two different main planners. This is my events planner. I got this one at Walmart and basically I've already used this for one retreat but I'm going to be using this for um, online classes, my retreats, when I want to keep track of any big event that I'm planning. So I'll just give you a close-up so you can see like projects, due dates, to-dos with due dates, next steps, notes, and I might take more than one page for an event, but I like this idea for my bigger things. I do two big retreats a year and then other things throughout the year like crops or uh, online classes that I want to do. It's just a great place for me to put that and it doesn't junk up my main planner. Not junk up, but you know, fill up. And then this is going to be my main planner for this year. It's quite slim, which I like. I'm not, as you may have gathered, I don't like things to be really complicated or I just won't keep up with them. I looked at Filofax and Erin Condren and those kind of things and I just could not bring myself to spend that kind of money. I think this was $15 or $17 at Staples. And you know what? I think it's going to do the job just fine. I have a black pen here on the side. It has the tabs that are laminated for the months. So that works nice because then you can just hop to that month. 
and it gives you 2016 so you can do future planning and then here is like a typical this is January so what I've done is use some wash gold washi for holidays and then I was gonna use a stripe washi for when I want to film videos but I was like you know what it's gonna take up too much space in my planner so I decided against that but what I did do is I used this polka dot washi for holidays so that it's like nice and bold I can see when the holidays are coming up like holidays I mean like trips when we're going away or just any kind of travel plans uh, gold here this is for Easter holidays or traveling again so just kind of is gonna help me um, this actually is for my May retreat so it just helps me know I'm gonna be gone and the week before that it's probably gonna be crazy hectic and yeah so I'm just hoping it will be more of a good reminder and then on this side I have kind of to do's things that I need to get done this month sometime maybe not things that have to be done by tomorrow but things that need to be done this month and then I've written in all my classes and clubs and stuff and they're highlighted in blue I haven't picked up a lot of highlighters or anything yet I probably will or some different colored pens or something just to help differentiate between things here I have like birthdays in orange so nothing too fancy but it's just nice look at a glance I've made little notes when I want to post or film videos and now here are those Heidi Swap magnets. Love these. Cannot say how much I love it. <laughs> so the love it one, I'm going to keep on the month spread. So for January, it's here. In February, I'm going to move it over to here. And then I have one that says today on it. And because these are magnetic, my other little list, like this is my shopping list of things I need to pick up and um, household chores that I want to get done this week. So instead of having to stick it somewhere, it's just magneted right in there, which is awesome. And then I have one more back here, and this is actually just with um, class ideas, and then I have, on this side I have goals. So I don't really want to stay on that too long because it's kind of private, but those are at the back, and I have another magnet there so it's easy to flip to. And so what I'm doing with my days, so my month I'm just going to have the broad strokes, big things that are going on. On the days I've broken it down onto what I want to accomplish that day. So things that I know need to be done, if supplies need to be ordered, things need to be designed by a certain day, videos need to be posted, anything like that. Okay, sorry about that. My camera ran out of memory on the memory card, so anyways, I was pretty much done. It cut me off right before I was finishing up, but I'm hoping this planning system will work. If you guys have any questions for me or you want me to go through something a little bit more, please just feel free to leave it in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I hope you like, subscribe, and join me again for another video. Bye.